I just want to do Shala EFC right now. Let me just report what happened in the house yesterday. I'll keep it short and sweet because honestly, I know you see us and you hear us, you know what's going on in the house, but I will still tell you. So, I got into a heated argument yesterday with Katrina. Um, I don't know what it is, but I feel like all through last week, I had been just avoiding her because she'd been making side comments, but because she had just perceived me to be quiet and, you know, maybe not confrontational, she thought I was the one that she could easily ride on. She comes off as very bossy, um, she, like condescending sometimes because she cooks for the house. Um, some people find her intimidating, but she cannot intimidate me. I'm sorry. She thought she could, but she can't. <laughs> so yesterday, um, I made food for my myself because sometimes when she cooks and I can't finish it, she, she gives me like a dead stare look or like she'll question me, why didn't you finish the food, this, that, this, that, and my heart beats very fast because sometimes I don't want to react. All through last week, fam, all through last week, she gave me headache. Oh my gosh, she gave me headache. I had to unlook, unlook, unlook. So let me even tell you what she did last week. So during the eviction thing, well, eviction show rather, live eviction show with Ebuka, Ebuka had asked me a simple question like, you know, why this? Okay, I told him I was still in my shell. And he was like, you know, I don't basically have. I don't have enough time for me to be my show. I need to just, you know, show the world what I am. And I let him know that, you know, when I'm in a new environment, I kind of hold back a little bit and then slowly and surely I eventually like let loose. And I heard her whisper like, I don't know why some people will be on this show when, when they're only here for a short amount of time. You're supposed to prove, prove the world. Something shall, you know, based on what I said. And deep down inside, I wanted to just react, but... I said it was too early for me to just react. So, let me now jump to the cocoa of the matter. So, I already felt some kind of way about her and I just tried to avoid her. She comes this way, I go that way. I, she comes this way, I'm going that way. I did not want any kind of confrontation. So, I made food yesterday because I wanted peace of mind. I, if I wanted to waste the food, I would know that it's my food. You get what I mean? I'm the one that cooked it. So, I cooked egg now and um, Dora comes in like, why do you cook egg? There's egg. And I'm just like, honestly, I'm truly, and God knows, I did not know that she cooked egg. I did not even want to know what she cooked. I just wanted to eat and leave the kitchen. So um, I cooked the egg and then after I finished cooking, I didn't even eat it. It was um, Eric, uh, Eric, Luce, um, Lilo, and some other people, they ate the egg, Sha. And then she, what's her name? Katrina started dishy food. Though. So I just said, let me just go and eat our food. So it won't be like, I did not eat our food. You get what I mean? So she dished for like two people. I'm there standing with the plate. Like, okay, you know, here's my plate though. She gives me this dirty look. Didn't you just eat? Didn't you just eat? And I'm just like, okay, if I just ate, I still want to eat the food. I mean, it's all our money. What do you mean? And then she just, I guess her attempt was to try to embarrass me. And she did not know that I was going to spark. So right there, I felt very embarrassed. And I walked away. I dropped the plate, I walked away, I walked to the room, but I just said in my mind that if I don't tell her to stop this act, she's going to do it again. Like, if I don't like something, if I, if you do it once, if you do it twice, if you do it three times, I feel like this is where I have to correct you, because if you do it the fourth time, it's not going to be, it's not going to be easy. So, I just had to let her understand that though she can boss some other people in the house and try to intimidate them, Talani Baj is not the one. People do not intimidate me. Just because I'm quiet, I'm quiet for a reason. I only speak when I'm being spoken to. Spoken to, Like, that's the reason why I'm quiet. If people are having conversations, if I don't have anything valuable to say or intellectual to say or I have no input, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. But, yeah, I just basically let her know that I'm not the one. Don't disrespect me. If you want me to respect you, you got to respect me too. So, now she understands. I've noticed that the energy is different now. Um, She doesn't give me no 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 bad vibes because at the end of the day like i've addressed that and i'm happy because had i not spoken yesterday i'd probably be boiling and heated and just like won't be able to stand her presence but she knows not to try that with me anymore so you know i'm happy and i'm happy i've done shala efc now and you know my mind and you know what's going on so yeah Whew. thank you wow I have never lived in a house with so many people before. I've never lived with people from different backgrounds and different characters before. And um, I'm always in charge of wherever I find myself because 
of how I grew up being independent at a very young age. So it just comes up. It's not something that I force. I just... It's really been crazy living with everyone in the house because... Whew, but Big Brother, so far, I would say I have learned to... Not to say, not to say things to the way I'm feeling, not to let my feelings out all the time. Not to say things the way to, I don't know, Vicky. I don't know. I just, I, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to accommodate everything that is happening. But I just hope, I just hope I, I, I learn tolerance before I leave Big Brother's house. I'm really hoping I am able to tolerate other people's excesses, knowing that we, we can never be the same. I'm learning, I'm trying, like, since yesterday after we had meeting on the dining, we talked about the food and the cleaning and the portioning and all that. I, I just decided not to talk about things, even when things are going wrong. I'm just trying to turn my eyes from them, but it's so difficult because I'm used to saying things. When I see things going wrong, I'm used to say, do, saying it or calling someone to do it or doing it myself. And it feels like doing it all the time by myself or just doing it. It makes me feel used or being, like they're saying that I'm being bossy. When you, we are, we are, everyone in the house are adults. You, how can you eat and drop your plate? And when someone comes and call you, please come and take out, take off your plate to eat in. You will say, I am being bossy. I'm just telling you what you're supposed to do, the right thing. It's crazy. It's really crazy, Vicky.